Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I have been MIA lately from YouTube and all of social media in general, and you can probably guess why by the title of this video. I am pregnant. It feels so good to finally announce it. I feel like I've known this forever. When you guys see this video, I will be around 10 and a half weeks along. I am due at the beginning of December. So for this video, I am going to tell you guys how I ended up finding out I was pregnant, how we told some of our friends and family, and also talk about my channel going forward with this big life change. So as far as finding out, there really isn't a huge crazy story about it. Dan and I had been trying to get pregnant for a little while. We basically just tried to time it all correctly and I used ovulation tests. We figured by the summertime if I still wasn't pregnant we were going to go see a doctor to see if anything was wrong. It was March at this point and we had tried several times and failed and I was starting to get a bit frustrated. I was starting to think that there was something wrong with me like the possibility of me not ovulating because I've heard of you can get your period as normal but not ovulate. So I was like well maybe that's happening and I was seriously considering getting one of those fancier ovulation tests that like measured more than just the LH hormone just to see if that was the issue. So I had said maybe if I didn't get pregnant for this next round I would consider looking into that. At that point I was just like you know it I'm just not I'm not gonna get pregnant this month like that's what it is. Okay, I had to change my location to be closer to an outlet because my camera was about to die on me. My very first inkling that I might be pregnant was my sense of smell increased just a little bit. I was at work one day and we had just gotten some bathing suits in because in retail you get your bathing suits in like March as opposed to like June when everybody's thinking about bathing suits we get them early but anyways we had just gotten them and I noticed that the smell was not really bothering me but just it was a distinct smell like it was something that I had never noticed before and I'm not someone who normally notices like smells like that like I can get away with different smells not bothering me, but for some reason that just stuck out to me. Even so, I was like, no, no, I'm not pregnant. It's just in my head like every other time. The next thing that happened was one day before I was expecting my period, I started spotting and I just kind of assumed that it was my period starting, but I also kind of had a weird feeling about it. Normally on the first day of my period, I have these really painful cramps, but I did not have any cramps at all that day, which I thought was kind of strange. So I waited to see if the spotting increased at all and turned into a regular period, but it did not. It was still very light and I had zero cramps at all. And I told Dan about it and he's like, you're pregnant. <laughs> I was still convinced that it wasn't it, but I was going to take a test the next morning if my spotting didn't increase just to check. So the morning of March 31st, right when I got out of bed, I took a test and within 30 seconds that positive came right up and it was like very obvious, like you are pregnant. And I really did not expect it at all. Even though the signs were all there, I really did not expect to see a positive test. That was the clip that you saw at the beginning of this video. I had picked up my phone to like record, but I was literally speechless. Like I had no idea what to say. So I was just like, uh, oh my God, over and over again. I just, 
I was speechless. I had no idea what to say. I woke Dan up immediately and showed him the test and he hugged me and that was that. That is the story of how I ended up getting pregnant and finding out that I was pregnant. So now I'm going to talk about how we told our friends and family that I was pregnant. So the first person I told after Dan was my mom. Um, it was the same day that I had found out. I ended up calling her over the phone and telling her that I was pregnant because she lives two hours away from me currently. And she was just, she was so happy. She was crying. <laughs> the next people we told were Dan's parents and his grandparents. We gifted his mom a copy of the book Good Night Moon, which is the book that she used to read to Dan at night when he was really little. And we also had another box with the pregnancy test inside. They were a bit suspicious because we told them that we needed to see them before they left for their trip in Florida, which they were leaving pretty soon. And we didn't want to have to wait like another couple of weeks before seeing them. So we're like, hey, we want to we wanna come see you before your trip to Florida. And they were kind of suspicious about that. <laughs> they were very happy, of course, but they were kind of suspicious that I was pregnant. We called Dan's grandparents over the phone because we don't really see them that often. And of course, they were very happy as well. And then we told the rest of my family on Easter. So what I did for my dad was we got him a card and we put a picture of Eric Cartman in it from South Park because he's a huge fan of South Park. And the caption said, screw you, you're going to be a grandpa. And we just gave it to him. We didn't say anything, give any contacts. We're just like, here. <laughs> and for my brother and sister, we had little like achievement things that said, achievement unlocked, you leveled up to uncle, and you leveled up to aunt, and again, we just kind of gave it to them and didn't give them any context for them to figure it out. I also called my grandfather that day because he lives in Florida, I don't see him that often, so we told him over the phone, and I also messaged my uncle because he lives in Pennsylvania, and I don't see him that often either. The next person we told a few days after Easter was Dan's best friend, Angela. This is the only reaction that I actually got a clip of. She's been in my videos before. Dan ordered her a sweatshirt and just sent it to her. It said something along the lines of auntie or cool like auntie or something. I can't exactly remember what it says, but it was very obvious. She got it either the day after or a couple days after Easter and Dan wanted to FaceTime her as she opened it, so obviously she was a little suspicious about that, but I got her reaction in this clip. Ah, oh, don't be. You shouldn't be scared. It's you, Daniel. <laughs> no! Yeah. She's pregnant. I just helped. The last group of people we are going to tell before we make it all public is our group of friends at Dan's graduation party this upcoming weekend. Well, by the time you see this video, it will have happened, but as I'm filming this right now, we haven't done it yet. So the plan is I am going to be wearing a shirt. It's a Pokemon shirt. It has an egg on the part with the belly and it says O with a question mark, which is what happens when an egg is about to hatch. So I'm just going to be wearing that and just going to see when they notice. The last thing I want to talk about today is my channel with this big news of the pregnancy is my channel going in a different direction? And I will kind of explain my thoughts and what I'm planning to do with my channel. 
So I am planning on releasing a lot of pregnancy content over the next several weeks. I have already been pre-filming several videos. I have been doing bump dates since I was six weeks pregnant and I've done a couple of other ones like bump box unboxings and I'm also going to be filming testing old wives tales. These are all videos that I've been so excited about and I've been wanting to make ever since even before I was pregnant. I was like, when I'm pregnant, I'm going to make all these videos. I do know that it is not for everyone. So once I kind of get caught up with pregnancy content, I will also throw in videos like normally scheduled content like vlogs. I do want to emphasize that this channel is not going to become a family vlogging channel. I absolutely do not want to make this channel all about my kid. This channel is about me and what I'm going through, which is why I feel very comfortable talking about pregnancy and the process of pregnancy, but I feel like there's a very fine line with putting your kids on the internet. Our kid will likely be in some of the videos, but it's not going to be all about them. Like, obviously we're gonna vlog sometimes and our kid is gonna be in the vlogs, but you know, I'm not going to turn this into like the family vlogging channels, but I don't want to shield my child completely out of the picture, but I just kind of want to draw the line somewhere. I want to keep their lives private, especially as they get older. I don't want to invade their privacy. I like if they don't want to be in the videos, then they're not going to be in the videos. As of when they're really young, they will make some appearances, but this channel is not going to be all about them. So I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys are excited. I'm really excited. I am planning on doing a Q&A in the next probably few weeks to a month or so. So if you have any questions about my pregnancy at all, leave them down in the comments. I will have a ton of pregnancy content in the next few months, but if it's not your thing, don't worry. I will go back to regular content that's non-pregnancy related as soon as I get caught up with my videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and be sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any new videos from me. You can also follow me on my social media. All the links are down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.